Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's been so long since I've made a video and just in case you guys don't know if you guys didn't see my last video which was like what three months ago <laughs> but I currently attend FITM right now and FITM has just been eating up my life there's just so many projects so many um, finals and quizzes and everything like that to study for in just a small amount of time so a majority of my time has been spent on FITM and just trying to make a social life so yeah just a lot of things has been happening these past couple months and I know that there's no excuse to not make videos but now that um, FITM is over or this quarter is done, I am taking this time to film as much videos as I can just, you know, just to come back. Like it's been so long and I'm so excited to be back. Today's look is going to be a quick and easy makeup look for Christmas just in case just in case just in case you guys are like coming home from work and you guys have to rush to a christmas party or you just you know you're last you're, you're a busy person and you just need some nice last minute what some nice last minute makeup yeah so i got you girl if you guys are interested in how i would personally do my quick last minute makeup look then just keep on watching all right The first thing I'm going to do is take this face primer and this is the Gimme Good Face from Trust Fun Beauty. I got this on my Ipsy glam bag of I forgot what month it was, either October or November, but I really like this primer. It makes me feel like I have nothing on. It's a nice silicone texture to my face and I feel like it's perfect for anyone with oily to combination skin. I have very oily skin and when I use this primer it just it makes me feel like my face isn't sticky and it makes the foundation apply on very nicely so I've been liking that primer next I'm going to conceal my eyes using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Kumi Beige I've been priming my eyes with concealer for the longest time only because I feel like it really cancels out any redness and veins going through my eyes and it really applies on eyeshadow very nicely my method is to use the lightest concealer shade that I have just so that the eyeshadows can pop out more because um, if you guys know that Urban Decay um, primer, the Eden one, I use that primer and then I apply on eyeshadow, it really makes the color stand out because it's kind of like coloring on white paper. When you color on white paper, it's more pigmentation. So for me, I just try to use the lightest concealer that I have just so that the colors for my eyeshadows just pop out. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> and then I'm going to just take any translucent powder and set it with this Morphe M407 brush. I'm going to just take any brown eyeshadow and I'm going to take any fluffy brush. I'm taking this Sephora, Sephora 10 crease brush and I'm just going to apply this light brown shade. You guys can choose any brown eyeshadow that you have. Trust me, like any brown shadow works. You guys can use your contour, con contour. You guys can use your contour brown, your bronzer brown, whatever brown you have, any brown from an eyeshadow palette, whichever works for you, girl. And just apply this on the outer corners of your eyes. Oh, sorry for my mirror, but I have to see. So you guys are mainly going to be focusing this shadow on the outer corner of the eye on the outer V and just slowly blending it upwards towards the crease. This is the only eyeshadow that I'm going to be using. And then you're also going to do the same on the other eye. And then after this, you are just going to start curling your lashes. Super simple, right? Just one eyeshadow color. All you have to really do is just build up that eyeshadow color to the point where it looks more deeper on the outer V just so that there's more dimension going on and to create that illusion that you did more than what you actually did. I'm so sorry if you guys catch me looking at my viewfinder. It's just because I'm just trying to make sure that everything is doing okay and you guys can like see my makeup because I'm pretty far from the camera. Everyone knows how it's like when you, put, when you try to put on liner. When you're on a rush, you just mess up your liner and then now you just wasted a lot of time. So I, what I would do is 
is that I would just avoid the liner and just go straight to lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be using today are these Salon Perfect lashes in the number 615. So I just use some regular duo glue, which isn't my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why I use it. It's like almost done. Um, I'm just trying to finish it off. And then when you guys apply lashes, just make sure that you wait at least 30 seconds so that they can dry and become tacky. And then that's when you are able to pop them on. And the reason why you should wait is because if you apply the lash glue and then you put them on, it's just going to create a big mess because it's not dry yet. So it's not going to apply on very smoothly. It's going to be a little rough. It might get all over your real lashes and then your lashes is going to have glue. And then when it dries up, it's going to look so weird and like white. Trust me, it happens so many times to me. You can tell when it starts getting tacky when you, when you can like um, see that it's turning darker because it's like a light gray going on. Just in case if you guys don't know how to put on lashes and you guys have naturally pretty looking long lashes, then just go ahead and skip lashes and just apply on mascara. But for me, I have really straight forward short lashes. So uh, it's a must for me to use falsies and if you guys don't know how to apply falsies it's very easy um don't, well i'm not saying it like as if i'm professional at it because sometimes i make mistakes but what i like to do is that i like to have a mirror face down like where it shows my chin like straight up let me see if i can get a mirror so say that this thing is the mirror i like to have the mirror like down here just so i can look at where i'm placing my lashes and trust me that's gonna be a complete game changer for you i love lashes they're so long and lengthy and they look simple too but they can look dramatic if you wanted them to by adding just a bit of mascara okay and then now i am just going to apply my other lashes so like i said this is my mirror this round thing i'm going to face it downwards look at my face and then look at my face look at my eyelashes and then just directly apply and then you can take this time to just really put them close to your real lashes and then put it back in your mirror and then just start fixing it around and then now i'm just gonna let my eyes dry and head on to the next step so now that i already applied primer i'm gonna head on to foundation and i'm just going to use this um l'oreal infallible foundation the reason why is because it's full coverage so you don't have to go back and conceal your pimples or blemishes which is going to kill more time so might as well just go for a full cover foundation and be a little careful on the foundation that you guys choose because um if you have a foundation and it has spf um be kind of cautious of that because when you wear spf foundations and you do flash photography it's going to create a white mask so try to avoid any foundation that has any spf uh, luckily, this L'Oreal Infallible doesn't have any SPF, so we good. Oh, and the shade that I'm using is Sun Beige. And I'm just using any beauty blender to blend this foundation out. I don't know if you guys can hear the music in the back, but um, Matt is getting a haircut from his brother. And whenever um, he gives him haircuts, he listens to music. So I hope it's not too loud to the point where you guys can hear it. I'm sorry if it is. After applying foundation, of course, you're going to add concealer and I'm taking the LA Girl Conceal again and I'm just going to conceal my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, and also my chin just so that it balances out an even looking highlight and it brightens up your face. Then I'm just going to take any translucent powder. I'm going to take that translucent powder that I use on my eyes and take a Morphe R13 brush and just apply this onto the areas where I concealed. And then I'm going to bronze using this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with this um, Mi 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 brush. I got this also on my Ipsy Glam bag. And just start applying this onto my cheeks. And then I'm going to take this NYX um, Tan Contour Powder, also using the same brush, and apply this on as contour i'm really trying to make it seem like this is my last minute christmas look so that's why you guys can kind of see why i'm rushing <laughs> and then for brows i'm taking this um, mac paint pot in quite natural i've been using this for so long and then i'm just going to 
do my brows and then you guys can use whatever brow product you guys have that's comfortable to you so I have no idea what happened but for some reason my camera just stopped working uh, another reason why I have to look at my viewfinder because it's just gonna shut down on me for some weird reason but I just got done concealing my brows and then now I'm going to add some glitter and I'm going to take this Ofra Bliss highlighter that I got on my Ipsy Glam bag this month it's so pretty and I'm going to apply this on to the corners of my eyes just to brighten up my look and be a little bit more festive. And then I'm going to take this blush right here from the City Colors, also from my Ipsy Glam bag this month, using a Morphe R4 brush. And these, this blush is so pigmented, it's crazy. Or all of these blushes are pigmented. And then I'm going to take that Ofra highlighter again. I just decided to put on my Z palette just to make it more cleaner. And show you guys my highlight. Oh yes, yes. Oh my god, my face looks plastic. Okay, so this part is totally optional. You guys just definitely don't need to do this. But if you guys wanted to add a little bit more festiveness to your go-to makeup, then I would take a green shade. I'm taking this green from Morphe. This green is from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette, but you guys can use any green that you have. And if you guys don't have any green, then you guys can go ahead and use a red. Or if you guys don't have any red, then go ahead and just use the brown shade again and just, you know, just go for a simple look. But since um, I kind of wanted to be a little bit more festive, I'm just going to use a green shade and apply this onto my lower, my lower eyes. Yeah, my lower lash line. So after applying the green, I'm just going to take any black eyeliner and start tightlining my eyes on the top and also the bottom. And then I'm going to take any mascara. I'm taking this It Cosmetics tightlining mascara and start applying it onto my lower well, damn! What? Do you I, like it? You never look that good when we go out. <laughs> wow, you just got your hair cut. Who are you? Hair on fleek, girl. <laughs> hair on fleek, girl. What? Okay, and then after that, you guys have the option of having two lipsticks. Um, I've just tried on the red one. I didn't like it, to be honest. I'm not really much of a red lip person, so I'm just I'm gonna show you guys how it looked with red obviously just in case if you guys do like it but then i'm going to take a nude and this is the cap on d bow and arrow liquid lipstick and then i'm going to take this maybelline um lip gloss that is so old but still good so you guys can use any clear lip gloss that you guys have oh excuse me i'm just gonna apply it on top okay you guys so this is it to this video um this is the makeup look right here Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys try this look out just or like if you guys are really in a rush and you guys really don't know what to use and you guys decide to use my look then hey try me in your photo girl I really hope you guys like this makeup look um, again you guys can substitute any of the products that I use to anything that you guys have or anything that you're comfortable with you guys don't have to use the exact same products or the exact same things that I use um, just anything that you have just kind of work around it and yeah so I really hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope 2016 is treating you guys well so far. If not, then finish this year strong at least. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!